During lockdown here in the UK, the only thing that a lot of us practiced was putting. And mine's still very hot and cold. Enter this man. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome Chris back to the channel. Chris, how are we? Very good. Very good, and we are back at the wonderful Waterfront Golf Course, or Golf Club. Royal. Royal. And you're going to sort out my putting today, because although I have been practicing it a bit, yep. it's still, I want to play well this year. I want to hold putts. So you can pack, you can cast your eye on the putter I'm using as well, if that's okay. I think it's just the putter though, is it? I don't know. Well, we'll see. <laughs> so Chris, where are we going to start this putting lesson? So we're going to start doing some short ones. So we know you've been practicing at home. So Six foot putt out, that's all it's been. Six foot putt out. So we'll do some six to eight feet putts. Well, we'll do four to eight feet. Different, obviously, breaking putts. We'll go round the hole, see what it's like. And then one of the big things that I see people struggle with at the moment is distance control. So we're going to work on some distance over there. And again, we're going to do 10, 20, 30 foot putts just to start to get your stroke length the right distance. And I'm glad you've zoomed so close. I haven't, in. honestly, it's wide angle. I'm miles wide away angle. here. Oh, I mean, right. I can't, I can go really in, but right, yeah. we're, honestly, we're a long way away. So short stuff, then we'll do some pace stuff, and then we're gonna go and do some pitching. Perfect, and I've got to say as well, guys, here at Waterfront Golf Course, Golf Course, I've never called it Golf Course, here at Waterfront Golf Club, the greens are the best I've seen, like, since we've come out of lockdown last week. That unbelievable, oh, how's that not gone in? You've let us down there, big time. Twice. But the greens are good, aren't they? Yeah, very good. Ricardo Jones has got it looking well, rolling them every day. Um, and they've been good from the start. We're we starting on that hole. We'll just do it around this because there's plenty of slope to it. Perfect. So yeah, I've actually been looking at different putters as well, Chris. So I'm using, at the moment, the White Hot number 7 OG. It's got a little yep. bit more going on with it. I feel like it's a bit easier to stroke than the Scotty. A bit more going on with it. What's so going I'm, on with it? I just feel like I can I can take it back online better. You know, we worked on my takeaway oh, a bit. Be, yep. Um, am I lining it up as though I would be? Yep, so line it up as you were on the course. So to start with, we've got a left to righter here. And guys, this is generally what Chris would go through with his tall players and his mid handicaps, high handicaps, juniors, seniors and ladies section. Correct, all of the above. Oh, it felt like a good stroke though. So again, so James has missed it, great start as always, but <laughs> it's breaking down when you put into why that missed. So it rolled pretty well there, it didn't have much pace, but the main thing there was it wasn't read high enough. So James lined that up, but he didn't go through his full process of his read because he was chatting away. I was trying to plug your coach. Trying to get me fireduppcom So he's read this one now, so again, what have you got this? I've got it pretty straight, maybe just inside right. Just inside right, okay. So again, he had it just inside right, but it was just inside left. So we're seeing a pattern. He's not... Well, you see, I've, you know, and this is what I think a lot of people will, they'll resound with this as well, because having not been on greens for six months, yep. it, you do start to worry about the reading and things like that as well. The, the stroke again felt pretty good, I'll go. I mean, again, it rolled well, here. so we know the stroke's good, and the, the benefit of having a, bo uh, a ball on the line, a line on the ball, will give us feedback of how you're stroking the putter. So if it's rolling end over end, we know that your path and face are square. The same as with a full swing, you'd want that to match to hit a straight shot. So we know for James, green reading. So... Good pace, good roll. Finally got the read. He's done the same putt really again there to cheat. <laughs> yeah, I did. But, but you can't miss three out of three, can you? But this is it. When you're practicing your putting, although James has just done a cardinal sin, is don't hit the same putt twice. So how many times I see people hit the same putt over and over again, they miss it once, then they miss it low, then they miss it high, then they miss it because it's too firm, then it's too short. They get it the fifth time round, but you've adjusted your stroke. You, you're just trying to guide the putt. So, Realise why you've missed. James knew why he missed those putts, and then he can move on, and then he can be positive when it comes to other putts. Um, let's go one more then. Let's go one more. Oh, he's picked a different one. 
full routine so he's going to do his read so he is using aim point so he's getting a feel of where obviously the slope is quite a, there's quite a lot of slope on this one isn't there so there's quite a lot of slope so he's gone for a two which is giving him probably around about a ball and a half outside the right yeah although i've got fat fingers so a little bit more sausage fingers but then with the pace of the greens today i'm going to determine that i do want it maybe a little bit more because obviously it's going to take a little bit more break correct or i hit it firmer so in there so he's hit it a little bit firmer it's based on a foot pass and we can see that's a foot and a half pass so nice and easy there for james he has missed again unfortunately for the fans but we know exactly there he's hit it a little bit firm he should have trusted his read and been able to go there so one thing that i've seen there from james and again one day what i've seen there from james in his routine is very much his practicing of his pace so doesn't necessarily always have the same routine from his practice strokes and this is what i see from a lot of people when it comes to pace so without being on greens for a long time you come back we have one pointless practice swing not really focused on anything really worrying on if you've got a figure of eight or what it's doing and then you go in and hit the putt so we've got no feel to judge how far that putt is we race one six feet past and then for the rest of the round we're battling pace so we want to have a more structured routine and that's what we're going to do now so this is something that you can all do depending on how big your putting green is given this is this a is big one as well large this is a big old putting green large green but we want to set you some distances up at 10 feet 20 feet and 30 feet which is probably where 90 percent of your putts are going to be and start to judge how far we're going to make the stroke to get it a set distance Great. so james will get his putter and we'll wander over perfect and you see guys for me i'm quite happy that chris has picked up on that and also i'm quite happy that i'm not happy that i've missed the putts so i'm quite happy that what i have been doing whilst i've been playing has been coming through in this lesson sometimes it's really annoying if you go and you seek some help with a facet of your game and you start then performing really well in the lesson you can think oh well, actually i'm not playing that bad but this is exactly how it's been going i feel like i'm stroking it well i feel like the pace is okay on the short putts but the read hasn't quite been there and it's not matched up with the pace that I spoke about. So I bet you get that a lot, Chris, don't you? Oh, I'm holding everything today, so I don't need to change anything. Yeah, and that's it. So it's coming and it's just there figuring out what was the main thing that was costing you. So green reading will come with getting back out on the greens, but pace there wasn't so consistent because, again, we're not used to being back on the greens, but people will come, start hitting a few in and going, oh, well, I don't really need to change. But on any given day, your timing might become good. You might hole a few, but then the next day you have 40 putts. 40 putts. I hope not, to be honest. But. <laughs> right then, Chris, so explain to the guys what we've got set up here. So here, what we've got is we've got a gate. So we're ticking a few boxes with this drill. We're making sure that James's stroke isn't cutting across or working out to the right. And then what else we're doing is working on our distance. So we've got a tee at 10 feet, 20 feet and 30 feet. And all I thought you might give me a chance to show them where they are once ran a marathon he could barely run I'm out of breath feet, just with that so all we're going to get James to do he's got his tees in here we're going to hit this ball okay you could do this with maybe a couple of golf balls maybe three and what we're going to well, do we've only got one because Chris is that lazy he's only brought one ball today James has got his bag but he's already fatigued doing 30 Do you want to go and get some more balls it's all right we'll get them after right so all we're going to get James to do as a part of his routine is look at the tee where he's trying to hit. So the first tee is the 10 foot tee. I'm going to look at the tee. We're going to make three strokes without stopping. And then we're going to come in, set the putter and pull the trigger. Okay. And that's... Oh, with a wedge as well. Stop it. So you can see there... I've focused on there and what I want you to think about is if he was throwing a golf ball if I asked James to throw a golf ball to his bag he would straight have a, through that window he'd have a, <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> he'd have a couple of swings with his arm I would hope and then release so all we're doing is we're doing the same kind of thing here as getting a feel I'm yet to see anybody James more than likely will prove me wrong who would stand here look at 10 feet and start swinging it like this at the same point every chance mate nobody's standing there and doing a stroke like that so it's visualizing how far that is and then getting over to the golf ball so i'll give james this one back and then i'll go and get two more do you want to get the coffers in while you're there it's freezing it's happening so this uh, just on putting green 
Yeah. You don't phone again. Every time. Open and do this in lessons. Doing a video. We're ready. Everyone all right? <laughs> yeah, no one's died. Wonderful. Right, so what am I going to first? So we're going to go to the 10 feet. So ball just goes in front of the tees. Oh. So the putter sits in front of the tees. And we can make the gate as tight as possible. So that is rather generous. Yeah, but it is. Shall we? James can nudge that in. And start with it wide and then bring it in. You know, depending on your level and your handicap, you can make it a little bit easier to start with, then start to tighten it up. You've been nicking tees from Dubai? Tee. <laughs> right, where are we going first? So, 10 feet, so looking at the tee, let's make three strokes, non-stop, good, one, so non-stop, one, two, three, and then step in, and then three, two, one, go. So, Great pace, I'd have said that I've gone a foot past. So that's what we based on with aim point with his read was a foot past. So straight off there, James has achieved the target. We, did, we only needed one ball. Get in. He sent me all the way over there for no reason. Chris can do it with a wedge, I can do it with a putter. So let's go now because James has got that one, but you could do this, do a three to one T and then move on just to get some repetition. But James has mastered it. So we're now going to do to the 20 footer so same process he looks at the tee three strokes without stopping sets the putter one look and be the ball simmer sit sit well that's not bad is it great so i'd say that's a foot past as well so so far two for two so now he's going to go to the 30 footer and so, this is basically just working on pre-shot routine isn't it Correct, it's routine, it's more feel, it takes you away from looking down at the putter and being worried about what it's doing. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's a masterclass. Is it it? Oh, it missed. Half a foot, even better. Okay, so can I just say as well, how simple that is. It, yeah, it's fine. I haven't even been doing this on the putt out at home. I've just literally just been bringing them in, hitting them, bringing them, hitting them. And all that's doing is ingraining bad habits. Yeah, you might be making a few, you might be improving the stroke, See. but then it shows that all I've been doing is when we've been out on the golf course, doing that again, and it's not been working very well. Correct, and it's basically, if we said now, if people comment below, how do you practice your distance control? I would probably say most of you say, well, I don't, or I just whack a few golf balls around the putting green. That's what we see here every Saturday and Sunday morning with our elite golfers. <laughs> Three balls down. Can't say seniors anymore because they didn't like it last time, did they? No, can't say the sea lions. Um, but they'll just throw three balls down, hit three putts, and then they're out on the golf course and they might not have hit it anywhere near. So just having a focus of looking at your target as if he was throwing the ball has given James, obviously, some good results. Have you all finished my golf balls? I have, yes. But we're going to, obviously, that was easy for James because we've gone 10, 20, 30. So we're going to get James back in now. Oh. Sorry. Apologies. I was trying to make for better content. Why? Is that why you went out? Yeah, I was done. Oh, <laughs> oh, easy week. all week. Um, so, obviously on the golf course, you wouldn't hit the, well, you might hit all your shots to 10 feet, highly unlikely. You might hit all yeah, your I shots to 30 <laughs> feet, but it's random. So, obviously, after we've done 10, 20, 30, because all James has had to do there is make his stroke a little bit longer, we're going to do random. So the first one we're going to do is to 20 feet. So he's going to go through his process. Go. Okay. So not quite as good. I mean, the tour average, you know, you, you've, you've got a little bit of leeway is two feet, or it's 10% of the distance. It wouldn't distance. be short though. The annoying thing is it's short, isn't it? Yeah, you'd rather be past, but you can see how we've gone to a different distance there. James hasn't been able to get it as good, but let's go to the 10 footer now. Good, so a foot pass, so very good. He's been able to adjust a little bit more time over that one and got it. And now what we'll do is we'll go to the 30. Robbed. 
that would have said i think that was on for a good pace as well oh it looks good <laughs> yeah perfect so i'd say that was good pace so you can see there for james it's not as easy when he's doing random but that's why you then go to practicing random so from your block you go to random and you can see guys give yourself 10 percent you know, or you can give it a little bit, depending on your handicap, you can give yourself a little bit more, but if your goal is, you know, within one foot, short or long of the 10 footer, two feet with a 20 and three feet with a 30, you, you're starting to make it a lot tighter. It's not the old fashioned dustbin lid, because if it's a biff of it, uh, a biff of bin. A biff of bin. It's very big. <laughs> so, make it a lot more tighter, be a bit more precise, but go through your routine. I see a lot of people, you know, checking that it looks lined up, having a look, they've not really got a Surfing. clue. Surfing. Look around the hole, see what the grass is doing. But what they don't do is think about pace. Obviously, if we can get your pace better and it's closer, we get rid of three puts. If we can get rid of three puts, your scores will come down, which is the goal of the and game. And one thing I think that's helped me massively is if we finish on a couple of short puts again, I do think I've got more chance of making some. So we'll put that to well, the test. <laughs> yeah, there's only... A bit of hope for that. <laughs> right, where shall I start? So pick whichever one. Middle. We'll go middle to start with, and we're going to take a bit of time. This is a different hole that we used, isn't it? Different hole. So again, we're not using the same hole, we're not hitting the same putts. We're getting James to go through his routine on different holes. And this is what kind of worries me a little bit, because I'm still, still not sure on the read. I need to practice my green reading. Correct. Obviously, if the pace is correct, yeah, you, what would you expect to hold here, Chris? So again, from this is, what, six feet? Tour average is probably 75%. For your average golfer, we're looking at probably, yeah, 40%. That's exactly where I read it. Because the roll was good, wasn't it? The good news, the pace was good. It has given him that foot pass, just a little bit more, so it is positive, but his read was wrong again. Good, so good three practice swings there. Just line the ball up. And again, a better pace and a better read. Finally hold one at least. Yes, and it's all just about, it's about building confidence, isn't it? Correct, so we're ticking boxes. We know his roll and his strike's been good every single How time. How does the stroke look out of interest? Because we, we spent a lot of time on the stroke last year, didn't we? Yep, stroke's much better Still now. Up. So we're getting an arc on the way back and we're also getting a lot more compact on the way through. So James's thought was to go a little bit straight or out and then guide it and be quite long on the way through. So a lot more compact. That's why the roll's better. Good, I enjoyed and that one. It's holding a few. So guys, so obviously back into golf, back out playing, put this into your routine if you're struggling with your pace and we'll start to see that we're able to get it closer and it'll also help you with holding out because it's even helped James. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We really hope you have enjoyed that. If you want more stuff like this, yep. check out European Tour Coach Chris Dennis's YouTube channel, Chris Dennis Golf. Bloody going again. <laughs> if you can catch all of him for a lesson, then book in here at Waterford. Apart from that, guys, leave us a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! white hat so I'm not going to do I'll just give it that one <laughs>